Hello everyone, I'm Reena Agustin. You're watching Community Impact. My guest today is the president for Fiji Seniors Citizens Association of Queensland, chairman for Australian Indian Heritage War Memorial Committee, director at Ethnic Communities Council of Queensland, director for Hindu Council of Australia, advisor at Federation of Indian Communities of Queensland, advisor for World Art Multicultural Inclusive, Ambassador for Peace Universal Peace Federation, past president for Lions Club of Brisbane McGregor, Fiji 25th Anniversary of Independence Medal 1995 of Queensland Multicultural Service Award 2000, Centenary of Federation of Australia Medal 2003, Lions International President Excellence Medal, Australia Day Award Finalist Queensland Local Hero 2010, Australia Day Award Senior Citizens of the Year Award 2012, Premier's Cultural Diversity Award 2014, Lions Melvin Jones Fellowship Award 2015, and Order of Australia Medal 2006. Please welcome Mr. Surendra Prasad OAM. Thank you, Rina. <laughs> that's a lot of things you have done in your lifespan, Mr. Surendra. Well, that's my ambition. That's what I want to do for the community and keep in doing. But one thing I must tell you, all this award belongs to the community, not me. Through their support, I got all those awards. So you're originally from Fiji? Yes. And how long back did you move to Australia? Oh, that's uh, 19, 1988. Oh, wow. I came to Australia. Uh -huh. It's about 31 years now. And what made you come to Australia? Well, uh, for my future of my children, you know, that's the uh, number one. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I, I was a businessman in Fiji and I lost a lot of money out there because I was doing tourist business out there. Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of uh, clients going in from Australia and New Zealand. And uh, I'm quite aware of Australia very well because I've been here many times. Mm -hmm. And I've got friends and everybody here. So that's what makes me to come. 30 even years and so many awards. You, I have seen you for the last 10 years from the time I have landed in Australia, helping the community, being with the community. And right now you said that this all belongs to the community. So what made you do all this community work? See, what happened was when I was uh, 12 years of age, my father passed away and we were eight siblings. And I saw myself and I noticed my mother went through a very hard time putting food on table. And uh, that what made me to think that people, some of the people going through this, what my mother went through, mm -hmm. and I felt that the best thing in my life to do work for the community and do the best we can for the community, those who are in need. Wow, that's yeah. why you are the president right now for the Fiji Seniors Association. Thank you. What yes. all things are you doing for them? Well, we do quite a bit. Uh, we've got a place now, as you know, we have a place in Annerley, mm -hmm. uh, Centre for our, uh, uh, not only for the Fiji, Fiji Senior Season, but what I do every year, every uh, year what we do, we celebrate all national events, Local events and bring all the communities come together. You have seen it. I think you've uh, been to my so events a few times. Communities. Yeah, and and these are the things that we're supposed to be doing for the community if we want to promote multiculturalism in this country. We learn. I learn this from Fiji. Fiji is a very multicultural country. Okay. That's how we we are very quick in uh, getting into this, uh, uh, you know, multicultural thing. And that's, that's what my aim is, to bring common community come together. And we've been very satisfy, uh, satisfactory on this. Yes, you uh, have. Uh, you have. So I, I, I will continue to do this. Uh, now, uh, I've been doing this and I, I will continue to do I this. I have been to many of your events. I have seen so many communities, the associations from different countries, nations, they have participated in your event, came to your event, performed at your event, yep. their traditional dances, That's right. sang their traditional song and brought their traditional food. If, if not for your event, I wouldn't know how a Samoan food tastes like. 
exactly right, right yeah. that's what you do and and we are really proud of you mr surendra uh, i know music uh, food and uh, you know sports all these spring communities come together that's correct and yes. that's the whole idea behind yes. it try and bring people <laughs> come yes. together and i think all the organization can uh, should do this sort of thing if really make want to make this country a multicultural country and make a difference make the difference that's yes that's right that's yeah. right did covid affect any way whatever events you were doing well we really look after our members anyway what i used to do is to ring them uh, once a week sometimes and uh, ask them how they going and keep feeding them with the information that government passes through us so that they understand what they supposed to be doing and how they should uh, control themselves work together and uh, try to avoid uh, covid 19 and i'm very happy to say this that we have 50 96 members and we didn't have the problem so god bless that's right that's right and the and also following all the rules uh, rules yes that's right very, yeah very good. that's great so good um talking about all the community work and uh, multicultural events that you have done is there anything for 2020 you're going to do well what we have done 2020 until december we will not do anything very nice because uh, there's a vulnerable members Correct. with us there's about 17 members who are over 80 years of age over 80 yeah so we 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 want to keep them safe yes so until december 31st there's no more and uh, no any events in uh, senior center that's great that's great mm. um mr surendra all this community work all the awards as you said it's for the community is there any problem that you faced while doing all the multicultural events like you know we all are different what is is there any obstacle that you came through well one thing i like in my life those who criticize me i love it Uh-huh. At least they know me and they remember me and they say things. You know, something. This criticism is good. Positive. You know, you, th- you think positive and you try and correct yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's very important. Without criticism, uh, I don't think you can. Uh, you know, know what's 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 the problem? Yes. So I love I love criticism. Wow. That's, that's that's my way of doing things. Good one to say. <laughs> yes. That if there's any problem or obstacle. take it and solve it solve it yeah that, that's over it nah, yeah what what should you yeah, yes. yeah. Well, that, that's how i take it uh-huh. yeah that's great hmm. if I, i would like to ask you that if there's one thing that you would like to tell the youngsters to follow in their path to do the multicultural events what it would be the first thing i would say to them don't hurt anybody be responsible and uh, what they should do is to plan themselves and have a goal and keep working towards the goal that's how you can achieve whatever you want and if you don't uh, you know uh, if you don't have a goal where we going to go right. so you have to have a goal and keep working towards it in hu- human being there is no problem you can achieve whatever you want to achieve but you got to work for it correct that's correct and the one thing that you would like to say not to do in the com- in in their lifetime what would that be yeah that's what i said uh, <clears throat> don't hate anybody don't hate anybody yeah yeah and and uh, be res- uh, responsible. responsible you know sometimes yeah. young people you know how they are you know they yes. got other things to do but yeah. uh, sometimes they forget what they are doing and what not but there are many they are our future that's correct that's why i look at it that's right and uh, we always talk about them and tell them what the good for them and what is bad for them that's right so so have a goal be responsible yep and do not hate anybody no that's, yeah that's, that's right one. so uh, i like to say that i born in fiji i've got four children and 10 grandchildren they're all true blue australians and i must thank the government of the land we have given them all the opportunities and they are really very progressive all my children they've got their own house they got everything they live uh, in a good life and my grandchildren are so good but one thing i have told them never forget your language 
keep your language and I'm glad they are all keeping the language. So that makes me very proud wow. of them. And also I like to add is that uh, my grandfather came from India in 1879. 1879? Yes, and he was born, uh, I think he came from uh, Uttar Pradesh. And uh, he came under the British, British government bring them to work in, uh, in a cane farm in Fiji. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they came under contract for five years and many of them went back and some of them stayed back. That's how oh, we, we are here. We are in Fiji wow. and uh, was born in Fiji. And they, they really worked hard for us. And uh, one thing they had, they always have this in mind that we have to have a temple so that our children never forget their culture, tradition, and religion. And they all done that in the school. They all built it. I mean, they were not educated. They're uneducated. Mm -hmm. But they have done all that for us. And we're so proud of them. Wow. Yeah. So you feel that you're lucky? We are very lucky. Very lucky. Very, very lucky. lucky. I really like the part that you said that your grandkids are here and they're true blue Australians, 10 grandkids. Yeah. And Australia gave you the opportunity. That's right, yes, wow. 100%. Fantastic. Yeah. Pleasure having you at our show, Mr. Surendra Prasad Oye, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, Rina. Thank you, my friend uh, uh, Raspal Singh Ji. Thank you. And uh, it was very nice. Thank you very thank much. You very yeah. much. Thank you.